Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Recently I uploaded a short video on a quick hairs with geometry nodes and it goes super viral like this. And people was asking that how to do it and create a full video on it. So here is a full video. In this video I am going to tell you the full process and it will be step by step and fully for beginners so everyone can follow it easily. So without wasting time let's get started. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so we will be using this node setup from this person. So all the credit goes to this. Um, I can't pronounce the name correctly. It's like Zephyr Royce or something. But yeah, uh, credit goes to, to this person. And thank you for making such an amazing setup. So we will be exploring that. And yeah, you can donate to this person. You can pay to this person as much as you want or you can just enter zero and you can get it completely for free so thanks for it and you can add to cart or and then you can put your email and then you can download it so yeah then i already did it so it's already showing that you purchased this product and you will get this product in your email that you entered so you can got it from there so I already downloaded that as you can see and now what I will do is that I will simply close my blender cause we got the blender file and just simply click on geometry node here's the file that we get from this person okay so uh, it will show you uh, some this thing you can just allow the extension that they are using okay so a few things that I noticed that uh, if we come up here to the cycle render as you can see it's showing up like this and it is because um, he uses some light HDR or something but it's not working so what we have to do is just simply disconnect or remove that and then you can also remove that and add another shader but just simply you can close this the old one and add a new one and let's make this one for like black and dark color but for quick lighting what we would do is that um, we would use the simple HDRI that we get in the viewport sharing so how to use that is that simple come up here to the um, to this one actually and turn off the scene lights and void scene void okay so now we are directly using this HDRI which is um, pretty much cool I think yeah so now we can easily see the things um, the eyes is not showing but we will not focus on that and let's focus to the main thing that we have now okay so actually what is he doing is that he's converting from mesh to hairs and from curve to hairs so he's using okay so we have like two collections the first collection have this base model uh, have this base camera and the third thing that he have is the hairs that he created from this geometry nodes which are super super awesome and what are he triggering here is that mesh to curve uh, mesh to hairs and curve to hairs okay so he's using that too and the collection uh, that he's using is this guide okay so anything in this collection will be considered to be hairs but it's a bit tricky not tricky but like if you are totally beginner you won't really able to use that so that's why i created this tutorial to show the to show that exactly how this works so currently he is using this curve okay we won't see it but it's this curve as you can see that if i go to the wireframe i can see that okay all the keys are pressed here so you can just like simply identify that what i'm doing if you are really beginner if not then i think it might be easy for you okay so these he's converting these curves to this mesh okay and another thing he's doing that he's converting this mesh into hairs so we would be exploring both the things that how we can do from mesh to that hair and how we can do from curve to that hairs so basically both have their own benefits and yeah the the video that they show in the start is like curve to mesh but he's actually using some draw draw to curve and then curve to mesh so i would be showing you 
exactly everything that you want to learn from this one okay so let's first uh, do the really simple thing that everyone can do and which is so easy that simply um, pick up this mesh that he created and just try to extend that and use that okay so if I just e to extrude as you can see um, the hair will be following this mesh so what you can do actually is that uh, you can use this mesh so this is really the first method for really really beginners who don't want to do anything so just you can pick this one and you can just extrude it and you can create any hairstyle that you want to create I also uh, I will also like you can just simply what we can do is that uh, pick up this hairstyle and if you want to have like another kind of mesh so just duplicate that I did it in X direction the mesh one and what I can do do is that if I want to create a short hairs I'd be probably deleting the last vertex like this and yeah we got this so this is how you can simply use it but this is just like really for beginners and it's not the correct way to do it so let's go to probably what's happening okay so first we would be learning from mesh to curve so what i will do is that i will click on the guide collection and i would be creating another mesh in it so just shift a and add a plan and yeah the plan is here let me just put it up here as you can see it will be like loading a bit because yeah all the nodes geometry nodes are connecting to connected to this one so don't really worry for that but yeah let me just simply show you what he's doing okay so if i have this kind of mesh and let's just scale it like too little like this so actually things are a bit easy yeah like that actually it's a bit too laggy because yeah we have all the geometry nodes but yeah just don't worry for that okay so i'm applying um, rotation and scale and the reason that we are not getting here is that we uh, missed actually one step that i'm going to show you now is that um it, it's all the thing is setups as you can see like this is also simple mesh and the hairs are following that but not following our plan and the reason for that is uh, just simply go to the edit mode and select one edge of it okay and then we can press n and then change the crease okay so just select the crease and make this one one and now as you can see it will apply that okay it's a bit at the wrong direction and this might be because okay let me just put another loop and it, it needs some loops to to actually follow that so what we can do is control r and now add a loop okay and right click to make it in center and let's make this one to about 20 and yeah as you can see it's completely now following that thing so what we can do now is we can use this plan to create our hairstyle and this would be the first method and it's also super easy just like at the mean crease at the corner and then like add loops and it will automatically follow that um, another thing that is possible is that you can simply use a curve to deform this mesh and this would be something new um, but the thing is that if we use a curve the curve would be also having um, the node setup so then you have to do that is se select this one this collection which are not use it for guided and then add a uh, curve here and now it would be fine so I'm just selecting that and now what I have to do is to select this mesh and then come up here and add a curve modifier and then we have to select this curve okay and then we have to just match the position of it okay and then go to the edit mode and yeah this is this would be a super fun thing I think yeah okay so this is the head part we have to only um, change the tail part and yeah this is how you can actually deform it it's, it's really fun um, okay so this is the second method that we can do and now we would be using the third and the final one which is the super interesting 
which goes really viral as I created the short video on that and yeah it was so viral so let's do that <clears throat> okay so again simple if we added a curve in the guided collection what we would get is simply shift a and um, for example create a path curve and yeah it created a huge path and it's having the hairs so let me just scale this so s and point zero five so let's make it like too low and yeah this is how it goes for the hair one for for the simple hair one um to do that thing what we have to do is that we have to tell that we have we would draw actually to do the curve thing so just simply go to the edit mode select all points and actually delete that we don't need that we have to create ours our own curve our own draw to actually convert it to curve and then come up here to draw to this one actually not this one um, it's the curve draw and now what we have to do is we can select the surface so actually we will be drawing on this surface and yeah let's now see how it goes yeah that's the thing that that was the whole magic actually first thing is that if you want to support this person make sure to support this person he also have a youtube channel with the same name and i will also put a link in the description so make sure to check that he have some really great tutorials and the second thing is that if you have any questions about it so you can ask me in the comment section and i will try to reply with that and if you want any other tutorial in the future you can just do that and subscribe for more okay bye